Dr. Brennan, I'd like to hear what you think is uh, the state of the Texas wine industry today and into the future and where Brennan Vineyards fits into that in your mind. Well, the, the Texas wine industry is in a tremendously dynamic state. Um, we've, we've really had the modern Texas wine industry for only about 30 years, and there's been explosive growth over the last 10 years. Um, the uh, quality of, of Texas wine has been progressively improving, particularly over the last uh, eight or 10 years. And uh, I think we're, we're all recognizing the absolute importance of producing quality wine that will be competitive on the international market. And even though practically all of Texas wine is sold to Texans, we want it to be of the quality that it could be sold anywhere in the world and be accepted as good wine. Um, we're, we're now, uh, I think, we are uh, now. we're now probably in the uh, pre-adolescent uh, phase, um, and I would say that we're 30 or 40 years behind California. Um, I don't know that we will ever have the potential to be anywhere near what California is today, uh, just mainly because of the um, the weather challenges that we experience in Texas. Uh, our weather patterns vary tremendously and it's something that, that we will have to deal with. So our climate is not conducive to the scale of, of California. But I think we can certainly be um, a viable candidate for a top four uh, slot in, in the United States. Um, we are now, we, we, we in Virginia and a few other states all claim to be number five uh, behind the, the big four, if you will. Uh, but I think legitimately we in Texas will be number five and, and possibly be able to move into the top four uh, within the next 20 years. Pat, when, when somebody responds, I, I had no idea Texas is known for wine. Do you want to beat them, <laughs> slap them, or just walk away? Uh, you have to have thick skin to be, to be in this business. When, when we first got started, um, I regarded uh, every uh, vintage that we did uh, like our child. And when someone would come in and make a face and gag, I, I was ready to attack them. <laughs> but now I, I shrug and, and accept that as a, another day at the, in the office. Uh, but you do have an emotional bond to the product that you produce. And uh, you want it uh, to be the best and you want everybody to like it. But in reality, uh, everyone is not going to like it at all. And you just have to accept that. Pat, I told you the story about taking Texas wines out to California. Imagine for a minute that you're the one standing behind the yes. table in San Francisco, yes. yeah. and somebody asks you, what's this I hear about Brennan Vineyards right. in Texas? <laughs> right. what, tell, what's that story over? Well, um, we, we, uh, we've had people come in our tasting room, and, and they say, Texas wine, what is it, Chateau Rattlesnake? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and that's, a, again, when you have to control yourself. Uh, but uh, all we ask is for people to give us a chance. Um, we, um, we, we, uh, we want to play on an even field, but we want to be given a chance to get on the field. And um, uh, we've had the experience on multiple occasions where people will uh, turn up their nose when they see a Texas wine, but they try it and they realize that it's a lot better than they expected and it's quite good. So like I say, all we ask is give us a chance. Let me ask you one thing. Somebody's on the internet and they're searching and they've landed on Brennan Vineyards. They see your video and you come up. What can you say from the heart that will make them want to open a bottle? Buy your bottle and open it. Uh, I would say uh, if you want to try something different, um, try a Texas wine. Um, you can have a California Cabernet and a California Chardonnay uh, and a Oregon Pinot Noir all the time, any place, but to have a unique experience have a Texas wine. Give us a chance. It's good stuff. I'm trying to get you to talk a little bit without being too commercially about your kind of your personal mission statement. What Brennan Vineyards okay. is all about. What you believe in and wine making. Well, um, we are committed uh, to making the best wine that we can from Texas grapes. Um, uh, we can uh, we can bring in fruit from California or from Washington or wherever and make wine here, but it's really not Texas wine. Texas wine, in our opinion, is wine that is made at least predominantly from fruit that is grown in Texas. 
We are committed to quality and we are committed uh, to uh, delivering as close to a consistent product as we can based on our weather challenges. Is it appropriate at all to talk about what you're doing down in Fredericksburg? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay. I'd love to. Um, we have um, gone in with uh, two other Texas wineries, uh, McPherson Cellars in Lubbock, Texas, and Lost Oak Winery in Burleson, Texas, which is just south of, south of Fort Worth. We've gone together, the three wineries have formed a fourth winery in Fredericksburg called 4.0 Cellars. Uh, this is uh, and the, the name because of the fourth winery formed by the three and also the uh, GPA that many of you uh, may have had in, in the school uh, that represents perfection. And so we wanted to uh, bring wineries from three divergent areas in Texas to the largest uh, area of wine tourism in, in the state in the Fredericksburg, the 290 Wine Trail and uh, expose ourselves uh, through uh, our wine uh, to the largest audience possible. When you take your wines in to uh, be sampled by your on-premise or uh, off-premise customer, um, ask them if they would like to taste a Texas wine and specifically a Brennan Vineyards wine. Um, they may uh, turn up their nose, but just ask them to, to give us a chance. Uh, we deliver a good product. There is a huge market in Texas for Texas wine. A lot of people don't know about it quality is improving and so try it yourselves if you're happy with it take it to your customers uh, I think they'll be happy with it too okay Brennan Vineyards we're in Comanche Texas and people always ask where is Comanche Texas so you don't have to answer that it's a two hours from everywhere uh, the second thing is aren't you from that place where they make that ice cream it's not Brenham, it's Brennan Vineyards, B-R-E-N-N-A-N, Brennan Vineyards, not Brenham, Texas. And lastly, ask them to try a good Texas wine that they will remember that is a quality product. Try Brennan Vineyards wines. <laughs> well, we need to be a little bit more folksy. You want to, uh... You want to talk? Now what, let, what is being more folksy? Let's get varietal specific. Okay. Talk about talk about the wine. Okay. It's kind of like okay. you did. You kind of start and talk about some of the flavor profiles. Okay. Of the Viognier. Okay. All right. Talk about Bren yeah, say the Viognier. Okay. okay. Brennan Viognier. Okay. Viognier is a great grape for Texas. It does well in our climate, and it makes a quality product every year. There are a lot of Texas wineries that do Viognier very well. Brennan Vineyards has been recognized year in and year out for a consistently good product in their Brennan Vineyards Viognier. Uh, Viognier is a grape that's not familiar to a lot of people. It's grown in the southern, uh, or originated in the southern part of France in the Rhone Valley. And it, it makes a very uh, delightful, aromatic, fruity wine with aromas and flavors of white peach, apricot, honey, citrus, things of that sort. It goes great with salmon, with shrimp, with turkey. It's a great Thanksgiving Day wine. So remember, Brennan Vineyards Viognier. Uh, Nero Davila is the premier red wine grape of Sicily, and we were the first to uh, plant it in Texas, um, and we're one of the few producers in the United States to have a, a varietal Nero Davila uh, on the market. Um, it is a medium-bodied, uh, delightful red that will uh, pair with veal, pork, uh, poultry dishes, uh, grilled salmon, things of that sort. Uh, so it's a wonderful uh, red wine from a warm, a warm weather varietal. And just one last thing, uh, well maybe next to the last thing, because I'm going to give you one that's just open-ended for you. But uh, I'm a 25-year-old graduate student and I've been surfing the net and I've run across v Brennan Vineyards. Uh, invite me to come and see you or try your wines. Okay. Get me excited about you. Uh, let's see. Um, what would appeal to a 25 year old? Oh, it's coming down here or. Uh, well, just picture the image of the person you'd like to invite uh, down oh, to bring to, to here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, we would like to invite all of you to Maybe come. Excuse me. I'll move the mic a little further. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. And, and, and it's just you, not all of you. I, okay, okay. I, I, I want to invite okay. you to come and see this. I would enlighten, uh, sorry, 
I would like to invite all of you to come see us in Comanche, Texas. Uh, Comanche is conveniently located in the central part of Texas. Um, we are about two hours from uh, most uh, any place except uh, uh, South Padre Island. Uh, but we have a beautiful campus. Uh, we do monthly wine dinners. Um, we have an uh, old tasting room in a house that was built in 1879 that's a gorgeous place. Our winery is a state-of-the-art winery, uh, and all of this is on a beautifully landscaped 4.3-acre campus. So come see us in Comanche, Texas, and sample some great Brennan Vineyards wines. <laughs> and just how would you uh, invite somebody new to come down and see you? Well, Pat and I uh, started this business about 10 years ago, and we have worked really very hard to make this a viable business in, in Comanche. We have worked very hard to make our, the wine the best that we can make. We have um, uh, worked hard also with making our campus one of the prettiest uh, wineries in Texas. And we think that we have some of the uh, best wine in Texas because we've worked very hard with it and we hope that you all will come and see us. We have a beautiful campus. We have a, a great tasting room. Uh, we offer several wines for you to taste and you have a, great, a nice atmosphere. So we hope that you will come down and see us.